One of the hardest things to do in distance learning and in our blended learning classrooms where technology is just a given is rethinking assessment. I strongly encourage you, if you haven't yet, to go watch the video by Patrick Green on rethinking summative assessments, as that really sets up why we have to rethink assessments in a digital world. Now, what we know is happening is as we're moving into a blended learning environment, we're not going to be able to give a test or a quiz as a summative assessment, not when information is free and around us. And what this is doing is this is bringing back the idea of project-based learning. This is bringing back the idea of learning in cycles. And we need to be able to create assessments that allow us to assess learning in the process, not the product. And you're gonna hear this a lot through the rest of these modules and the rest of this learning together, is that we need to find ways and structure learning that allows us to assess learning in the process, not the product that was learned. And the way we do that is we adopt learning cycles. And there's a lot of them out there. This is one you're looking at on the screen is the inquiry learning cycle. So if I'm setting up a situation where I'm having kids dive deep, I'm actually assessing each one of these on the screen. So I have a tuning in where I can assess. I can assess, can students find out what the problem is? I can assess, are they sorting out a solution? Are they digging deeper? There's all kinds of these out here and you just need to choose what is the best cycle for you and how are you going to assess it? This is the design cycle. And each one of these squares is a place for us to assess. We're not going to assess the final product. We can assess, do students know how to analyze existing products? Do students know how to develop a design brief? Do, do students know how to present the, uh, present the chosen design? Can they construct a logical plan? Can they design and test their method? When we structure learning in a way that puts students in control and we create systems and cycles that we can then structure and pace that around, we actually then have places to assess. So when we're creating these, we need to chunk learning. So the one you see on the screen, I'm going to chunk my learning and we're going to spend a week just in inquiring and analyzing. And then we're gonna spend another week in developing the idea. And we are still doing teaching our mini lessons. We are still doing our instruction. But what we want kids to produce is something greater than a test. That is where we are headed in education. And it's where we need to head now. Over on the resource page on our website, you will see a learning cycle planner that I have created for you for this module, where that will start walking you through and thinking about how we structure learning differently in a blended learning environment.